Hi everyone, it's Pam. Um, just thought I would get on here. I finally got a few minutes. I'm sorry, my hair is wet. I'm getting ready for work. But I thought I had a few minutes so I'd get on and say hi to everybody and let you know that I haven't disappeared. Um, I have been having the summer from hell. Um, as if you guys seen some of my previous videos, you know that my dad had gotten, um, he had um, developed a brain tumor. And at first they were telling us five to seven years, then they were telling us 18 months. Well, in June he passed away. And actually the day that we were moving into this house, the new house, we got word that he passed away. So I've been taking it really rough. It's been a really, really hard summer, really hard to deal with. My dad was my best friend, and I, I really miss him. I miss him a lot. And then the day of the funeral, we found out that we are having a, me and my husband are going to be grandparents for the first time. Uh, my oldest son and his girlfriend are having a baby girl. So that, that's that been kind of fun, um, a little unexpected, but fun. Um, then we moved into the house, and we've been trying to get stuff done around here. And as you can see, like behind me there, they had to fix some of the drywall on the ceiling, um, like nails popped out. But So it's just been like little things that have been going on and trying to put stuff away. And um, I have been going to lots of rummage sales and lots of auctions, though, so I have I have a lot of stuff to show you, but what I thought I would do um, is just like a big collective haul. Maybe it'll be a two-parter or a three-parter because there's a lot. Um, I've been shopping a lot for the house and a lot uh, for baby stuff. I don't know if you'd be interested in seeing baby stuff, too, but I got tons of baby stuff. Um... So just let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see some baby stuff, um, too. But I got, I scored some really good stuff this, this summer. This, this was probably my best summer as far as rummage sales and auction stuff goes. I got a whole bedroom set for $15. I'll have to show you that because I redid it. Um, let me know if you guys want to see how I redo things, too, because I do take stuff and repurpose them. Um, I don't know if you'd be interested in something like that, but I take, um, like, old stuff that nobody wants and repurpose them into make them in, into things that are, I don't know, useful. <laughs> Best I can say it. Oh, and have you noticed I dyed my hair red? Yeah, I went on a... I guess a, you know when you get depressed and you just feel like you need to do something to brighten it, I don't know, brighten you up or make you feel better? Well, I dyed my hair red and I didn't really look at the box all that well. I probably should go to a hairdresser and not a box, but I accidentally got a redder red than I wanted. But, oh well, it'll grow out. I ain't worried about it. Um, anything else going on with me? Not that I can think of right now. Just a lot of crud. This weekend we're having our great big huge, at our house here, we're having a big um, housewarming anniversary party. We're going to have like tons of people out here. Big barbecue and campfire, bonfire thing. Um, I can film some of that, I guess, of what I, how I get prepared for stuff like that. I mean, it's, it's pretty big, pretty big. Um, other than that, I don't think anything else is going on. I just, I guess I just needed time to myself for a while to get over the shock of my dad dying. Because, I mean, it was a shock. One minute in April, he's, they're telling me, oh, he's going in for surgery, he'll be fine. And the next minute, I know they're calling me and telling me, you know, he's going downhill. And every time I'd go see him, it was, he was a, more and more not my dad. You know, he was, 
they had them in diapers and you know and at the end and I felt so horrible about this but I was praying for the Lord to take him and I know that sounds terrible and I feel so guilty about that but I did not want to see my dad in that state it was horrible horrible that tumor took everything my dad was who he was who he stood for and took it all away at the end he was just a pretty much a big baby in a bed that's what it was he wasn't eating just took it all away so that was it was really difficult to deal with when one they tell you you know you, oh five to seven years they did really good we were able to read debulk it and this that and the other and then the next minute they're oh he's not doing very good we're gonna put him in hospice and it's like it's all slams you and you're like just lost as lost I didn't know what I've never lost somebody close to me before that was the first time I've ever lost I mean my grandma I was real close to my grandma but I wasn't there to see her sick and I didn't you know and you expected it an 89 year old woman but not in your 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 dad who's only 70 who's only 70 and one minute he's talking to you about you know and telling you dirty jokes and the next minute he's you know in the hospital I don't know my hair is just like I really need to do something with it before I go to work I can't go to work like this anyway so that's that's where I've been so this is uh, just a little video for me to say hi you know I have been watching your guys's videos everybody that I'm subscribed to I watch your videos I comment on some of them um, a lot of times I didn't didn't comment but I watched every one of them all of your guys's videos I really enjoyed them um, loved loved some of the thrift shopping that Jenny did and um, absolutely adore Michelle from Axper and I like gerbly wordly her videos are kind of cute they're little animals are kind of cute but um yeah but I've been watching all your videos and keeping up to date on that so now I'll be back to making my own videos I look cross-eyed I look cross-eyed oh well um so look for me in, in the future okay thank you have a good day bye